What's up, bros, and welcome to the 119th LEGO Ninjago Fig Bar. Now, today I'm going to be showing some more What If Ninjago had a zombie apocalypse customs that I've made. Today I'm going to be showing some zombies, so let's get down to business. Now, for the first custom in today's video, we have a zombie Mia. Now, the legs of this coaster minifigure are from a hero Nia from Ninjago Master of the Mountain. We're gonna take this Sons of Garmonaut Nia torso piece as well. Pop it on reversed, and we also have some gunmetal silver arms and some light blue hands attached. Then we're gonna take this silver ZX armor piece and pop that on right there. Then we're gonna take this zombie cheerleader headpiece from a random CMF series and Pop that on. And then for the last piece, we're gonna take this random Ninjago Dragons Rising Nia hood piece. Pop that on. And then we have the completed zombie Nia custom. Now, in the past Ninjago Zombies video, I talked about how in this universe, just like in the original Ninjago timeline, the ninja or most of the ninja got sent to the First Realm, and meanwhile Lloyd and Nia and the rest of the Resistance stayed behind in Ninjago. The same happened in this universe, however, when the rest of the ninja from the First Realm came back, they came back to found that Nia had fallen and was turned into a zombie, and Jay was definitely very mad at Lloyd for that, but it wasn't his fault, but yeah, that's basically it. Nia eventually turns into a zombie in this universe, so yeah, that's basically it for this zombie Nia custom. Now for the second and the weirdest custom in today's video, we have a zombie Vangelis, or Skull Sorcerer. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from a Hades minifigure, I believe, from a random Disney CMF series. Then we're gonna take this Stone Gargoyle torso piece from Next of Nights Except. We're gonna pop it on reversed. And we also have the stone gargoyle arm with a purple hand and this black arm with a black hand. Then we're gonna take this black magpie armor piece from the Lego Batman movie and pop that on. On the back, we're gonna attach two black clip pieces and pop them on like that. And then we're gonna take two black wing pieces and pop them on to the back as well. Then we're gonna take the stone gargoyle head piece and Pop that on right there, and then for the last piece, we're going to take the Skull Sorcerer head or mask or helmet piece, pop that on. And then we have the completed Zombie Vangelis or Skull Sorcerer ghost on. So in my Ninjago Zombie Universe, the zombie virus eventually gets spread over to Shintaro, and the Skull Sorcerer or Vangelis is one of the people that turns into a zombie. Now. His design is very weird and different looking, I gotta say. Now, in the universe, this is because after Vangelis becomes a zombie, he uses some dark magic to transform his body, so then he is, like, no longer his same species. Like, he grows wings, and he grows this weird tail serpent thingy. That's why I used that Hades piece. Now, although outside of the universe, the only reason why this custom looks weird is because I saw the Hades leg tail piece or whatever and I thought this would actually go good with this custom and make it look very weird or gross looking so that's why in universe I changed it to that where he used magic to change his appearance and stuff like that to mutate himself or whatever so yeah that's basically it for this zombie Vangelis or Skull Sorcerer custom. Now for the third custom in today's video, we have a zombie Gravis. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from I believe a random Monkey King minifigure from a random CMF series. Then we're gonna take the official Gravis torso piece from Ninjago Legacy and pop that on. Then we're gonna take these dual molded dark orange and black arms which are from a flashback armor on minifigure from the Lego Ninjago movie minifigure series blind bags and we also have some zombie hands attached. Then we're gonna take this dark red K piece and pop that onto the back. Then we're gonna take this golden armor piece and pop it on like that. Then we're going to take this zombie Captain America headpiece and 
pop that on right there. Then we're gonna take the Gravis dark red turban piece and pop that on right there. And then we have the completed zombie Gravis ghost on. Now this zombie Gravis custom was pretty simple to make, basically I just took the official Gravis minifigure from the Juggler Legacy and modified it a bit to add more detail and then I quote unquote zombied it, or zombified it, so yeah. In the universe, Gravis, well, duh, he becomes a zombie eventually. And he would definitely be a very powerful ally or asset to Garmin and the zombies. But yeah, that's basically it for this zombie Gravis ghost on. Now for the fourth ghost on in today's video, we have a zombie Ronin. Now, the legs of this ghost on minifigure are from Cole from Ninjago Master of the Mountain. We're gonna attach this Ninjago Legacy. Ronin torso piece and we also have this grayish green arm with a dark red hand and this orange arm with a dark red hand. Then we're gonna take this classic general crypto armor piece from Ninjago Rebooted. Then we're gonna take this stone gargoyle head piece and we're gonna attach this dark red lower ninja mask piece and pop it on and then for the last piece we're gonna take this orange straw hat piece and Pop it on and then we have the completed Zombie Ronin custom. Now this Zombie Ronin custom is basically based off of the Ronin design that's you know normal and the Ronin design from the Shadow of Ronin game which has like black and red so originally I was going to go off of his design from Shadow of Ronin but I thought nah that would be kind of unrecognizable so I also decided to stick to the normal Ronin design a little bit but yeah that's basically it for this Zombie Ronin custom. Now for the fifth and last ghost on in today's video, we have a zombie flintlock. Now the legs of this ghost on minifigure are from the official flintlock minifigure, so is the torso, except I replaced this right arm with a zombie Captain America on. And we also have this orange arm and we have some brown hands attached. Then we're gonna take this gunmetal silver side pauldron armor piece and pop that on. Then we're also gonna take this brown purse or book bag piece and pop that on like that. Then we're gonna take this zombie Captain America head piece and we're gonna attach this black mustache piece and you can attach that to the rest of the minifigure to lock it in place and then for the last piece, we're going to take this Lego Ninjago movie coal hair headband piece and pop it on. And then we have the completed zombie flintlock ghost on. So in this universe, just like in the original Ninjago timeline, the events of Skybound were erased, but Flintlock is still a former member of the Sky Pirates and eventually the zombie virus gets to wherever he was laying low in or living in and he also became a zombie. So for this minifigure's accessories, we actually have two of his pistols, but one thing that I gotta show though is the fact that the reason why I added this brown book bag or purse piece is the fact that you can technically add his pistols into the book bag like right here I added one and let's try to add in a second one and bam as you can see here I added both to the back and bam although this one I should probably flip that in and yeah that looks much better but that's the reason why I added this brown book bag or purse piece but that's basically it for this zombie flintlock ghost on. But anyway, that's basically it for the 119th Lego Ninjago Fig Bars. So I hope you guys enjoyed these five zombie customs that I've made for the scenario What If Ninjago Had a Zombie Apocalypse. This is like the fifth, I think, video in this series, so yeah, stay tuned for more. Feel free to check out my other videos on most of my custom minifigures. Have a great day. Godspeed, bros.